Ellsbury from Acrylic Art Paintings. Welcome to my channel. Okay, this is all acrylic paints that I'm gonna be using today with Elmer's glue all. So we have paint and we have glue in each of the paintings. I'm sorry, in each of the paints. And now incorporating like I always do. And it's gonna be a very, very thick mix. As you can see there, very, very thick. And now I'm gonna start adding a little bit of water to bring in, okay, let's bring it closer to the camera here. A little bit of water, little by little, until it brings the consistency that I'm looking for. I'll show you right now. Just keep mixing a little bit here, and here it is. See? It's like a thread, and it doesn't break. If it breaks, it's too thin. So I'm going to separate this lighter color here. And now I'm going to apply a little squirt of three in one with silicone oil in each of the paintings. Just a little squirt. See, that's it. And now I'm going to incorporate the paint with the silicone oil. All right, really quick, not too much, because we don't want to break the oil, we want enough for this to create some cells. And there's my neon. So now I'm gonna use my lighter pale green in here to um, in my canvas panel. And this is my background color. I'm doing this, I'll tell you a little later. Now, I have to apologize here. I thought I had my camera on, but I will show you exactly how I did this until you're sick of watching it. <laughs> So what it is, what I did here was I did a puddle of paint, like what I'm doing right now. There's my neon. And then, and a little bit of gold. And then I use the blow dryer to stretch the paint. There we go, see? And so the heat, you see the air is um, it's spreading the paint and swiping the paint and the heat is bringing out the cells. So why am I doing this? Because uh, my friend Dina Tollefson invited us to participate in her green and gold contest and so i'm doing this and i decided you know since i didn't have i had never done a this uh technique before the blow dry technique i decided you know what i'm gonna use it and uh, for this video now as you can see as i'm trying to stretch in there it kind of wrinkles that's because the hot air kind of dries the surface of the paint and so it creates uh, that kind of like a type of like a wrinkly effect in there. So that is just telling us stop. <laughs> so do not ignore those signs. Just stop and then try to find another area to work on. Now, as you can see here, I have the pale green in the corners and I not a fan of it so I'm using this lighter green other light green but a little darker than the background color to fill the corners okay let's bring it closer I don't like that uh, 
whitish area in there. So I'm going to see what I can do later on. But as of now, I'm just filling out those corners and I'm trying to um, figure out what I'm going to do next to incorporate it into the painting. So it's just hanging out in here. Let's see, see, the beauty of this fluid art is every pour or every painting is a new experience. And so I always say, do not be afraid to fail because we learn from our experiences. And sometimes we just need to go with the flow. We need to work with what the painting gives us. And so right now, I'm just taking my time here and trying to fill out the corners here to see how I can um, work with this painting. I normally do not show this part because I don't want to make the videos too long. But now I feel bad because I... Um, I did not, I, I had, I turned the camera off and didn't turn it back on and I didn't show you. But anyway, um, I'm now going to add a little bit of gold here in the corner. And maybe another green and try to incorporate it into the pour. See a darker green in there? I think that's going to create harmony with the darker green that I have right towards the middle of the pour. So now I'm going to use my um, hair blower and see what comes out of that. See, there it goes. And see, uh, one thing you're going to find out too is, um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but if we put the dryer too close to the paint, we're going to end up with a lot of paint in our hair dryer. Now, as you can see already, the edges of that, it's starting to, to form some cells in it. Now I'm going to use some more gold. Because it's gold, green, green, and gold, right? So, got to keep up with the theme. We got to make the green and gold the start of this show. Or should I say the start of this pour? <laughs> and we keep on, see, and now I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to blow the other way to try to... To go towards the corner. I'm liking how the gold is already forming some cells. Now, um, I have seen this technique before, but the reason on YouTube, but the reason I did not want to try it is because um, the artist does the pour and then starts stretching to the point that it's, it looks just like, I don't know, like somebody has just touched electricity and the hair is sticking up. You know what I mean? Anyway, so that's why I decided to start working my way around my paint through spreading the puddles and start shaping my poor that way so those who know me um know that i don't i'm not a fan of um, negative space very much so i like to so that's why i'm doing it this way you know um if you want to participate i would love to um you don't have to have a youtube channel after I post this video, I am going to create um, on Facebook post so in my group. Come and share your paintings. If you already have another one that has um, green and gold, 
might as well just submit it. It's all about the fun. It really doesn't matter whether we win or lose. The most important thing is to participate. I'm having so much fun with this one. I'm learning a lot. I'm sharing it with you here. And nobody can take that away from me. So come, share your paintings, share your work with us. And so, and let's just have fun together. So at this point, I am going to continue working on, on my, my painting here. Now I've shown you, now that I've shown you how I did it and how I will continue to do it. Now this is when we divide and conquer. Show me some love through those likes. And if you haven't yet, join me by subscribing to my channel and hitting that notification bell. Now, I have a lot of leftovers. So since they are ready to go, I'm just going to add them to my whiting here. Since they're all tons of green, I really don't care about the order because they're all like, I mean, I, I, there is no danger of becoming, uh, having brown tones coming out of this pour. So I am just uh, putting them in my base, in my bl uh, white base. And then um, there goes my gold. And I will do a flip cup with it and see what comes out. So at the end, we're going to see which one of the two would be a better fit for the contest. So hopefully you'll let me know. And the contest is on May 5th. So we'll have enough time. So there goes my Arteza uh, canvas panel. They're pretty good. Uh, normally I don't like canvas panel, but I do like these ones. They're pretty steady. Oh, I already see some cells forming on the white. Can you see those? Right there. Woohoo! And um, I see more action in that area too. So I'm just gonna let paint, that's the cup. And I'm gonna let, let the paint sit in here. Do, the, do its thing. See, I haven't done anything. Maybe just blow a little bit with my mouth and bring out those cells. I haven't used a torch, just, just my mouth. And I didn't add anything. This was the paint that we mixed at the beginning. So I'm just going to tilt off camera here because this video is kind of getting long. And this is how it looks. Now I want to, I don't like too much white in the bottom. And so I'm gonna put some, um, I'm gonna draw some. Okay, so this is a dry painting. This is the very first one we did with the gold and green or green and gold. I really like the abstract look of it. I really, really do. And here is the other one that I did. I decided to go for some leaves instead of flowers with a, a golden gold trim in there. So which one do you think is best fit for the contest? The blow technique with gold and green, number one, or the one with the leaves, number two. Please tell me in the comments below and we'll go from there. So thank you for joining me today. If you decide to try this technique, come and share it with us in our group on Facebook. Till then, keep painting.